Hello, I'm Miss Cindy and I'm here for our February Jump Start program. So this month we're celebrating Black History Month and we are going to be playing with shapes, all sorts of shapes and colors to make freedom quilts. So in freedom quilts, it was a wonderful way to leave um, secret messages uh, for um, enslaved people to find their way to freedom. So we are going to play with our shapes and make some freedom quilt freedom quilt squares today. So I have some squares that I have cut. So once you have your six inch square, if you fold it into in half and then in half again, that gives you a nice little um, way to work so that you can keep everything organized and have everything fit. fit. So then we have four squares. So I'm going to play with this and it's got a nice little outline. And what I'm going to make today is uh, the Secret Message Crossroads Quilt Square. So um, it was a way to di give directions for people traveling. So I'm gonna use these blue boxes and I'm just creating squares. So when you do the fold in half, fold in half again, it just makes, it gives you some lines to follow. So we're gonna cut those squares, cut them all up, lots of squares, lots of squares and triangles. So I'm gonna make these squares, I'm gonna cut a little bit off because I want them to fit inside of these squares. So I'm gonna just trim a little bit off that might be, I don't know, a quarter of an inch, half an inch. It doesn't have to be exact. They just need to fit inside just like this. So I'm gonna glue those down with my glue stick and that makes the crossroads pattern. So from that design, you can get really fancy. You can start to add other, um, you could even do like little triangles like that. And once you have your squares cut, it's super easy to make a triangle. You just cut it in half. If you if you aren't sure that you can make a straight line, you just fold it and then you can cut it right in half. The one here that I've made is the flying geese. And so it's just triangles. It's cut just like I did with the square. So you're going to start with a square for everything. So you can make the flying geese. You can make the north star and the log cabin. The log cabin is just a lot of thin lines that you're gonna put all along your square and you're just gonna load it up like this and you can even add more to it. You can um, just layer all of your papers, gluing them down and just have fun with your colors. Add some crayons and markers and just have fun with this and see what kind of secret messages that you can create with these beautiful quilt squares. Thanks and join us in March.